Hi, this is DOSBOX Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. It's the end of the... Well, basically, we're about halfway through the second month in the rebirth scenario in the World Tree campaign. Tarnum is over here heading towards that last side cavern so we can clear it out. And Zubin is over here. I think he's about to pick up some reinforcements from Vey. Gernison has come back from clearing that one side cavern. He's picking up a few troops. He's probably going to have to tag behind Tarnum in just a sec here. And Vey here needs to give Zubin those ogre magi. Oh, uh, I think I'll have him go there. And then see if there's any troops left to hire or anything left to build. We could build an up an upgraded Cyclops cave or an escape tunnel here. Same deal here. Ah, we could f hire a few more hobgoblins here. I suppose if we're going to build an upgraded Cyclops cave, it would be logical to do it here where we have the Statue of Legion located. I wonder if we can build it at any of our... Oh yes, we can! So we have plenty of wood and ore now. Don't... Okay. Yeah? Wow! Of course, we're going to have to have a ton and a half of gold to hire all those troops now. Well, hopefully it wasn't a mistake to do that. Okay, it's Rat Week. Tarnum is going to go after those that pack of Power Liches. And I know he can do it with what he's got because, you know, we tried that last episode before we decided we really needed to get the Statue of Legion back to one of our castles. Okay. All right. Ernison, you may go there. Okay, they. Okay, so let's compare. These are how many troops we can recruit at one of our other castles. And let's take a look at Drago Breach. Okay, it looks like...
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we'll just... Trade resources and build as many creatures as I can. If necessary, I'll use up all the resources, but I'd kind of like to keep a reserve. It's just force of habit, at least. Okay. Okay. I think we'll just leave Zubin there for now. Okay, and move on to the next turn. There's an idol of fortune there. And pack of power liches. Subin. Okay. Gernison. I think there was one more wolf pen here. That would put him into position to pick up those resources in Tarnum's Wake. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... Zubin needs those troops, so I'm going to have they go pick up ogres and bring reinforcements to Krellian. Okay, let's finish hiring ogre magi here. And then we will start heading Zubin towards Drago Breach. And then Krellian. Uh, we'll have them 
pick up the wolves and the orcs since he needs them. We'll just leave him there. <gasps> oh, look at that! We captured a necromancer after a recent battle. It didn't take long for my ogre captain Gruber to convince the man to talk. The man couldn't provide any tactical information that I didn't already know about my enemy, but he did have one interesting piece of information. Apparently, Vor has abandoned the necromancers. They've, they've called upon him for help, but Vor hasn't answered. The necromancers continue the destruction of the world tree in the hope that they can cause enough d damage to kill it before I manage to defeat them. So, for now, I don't have to worry about Vor. Although I wasn't looking forward to battling the insane ancestor, it bothers me that he gave up so easily. What could he be up to now? Well, we did see a red hero right there. So we are going to have to finish up real quick. I'm going to pause the game just for a moment because my Splendor Bread's melting in front of me here. And I will be right back and we'll decide what to do about the Red Menace. Okay, we're back. I'm going to save before we go after that pack of Power Liches. I don't think there's that much more to this tunnel. But I do want to be prepared to rush back to defend my castles. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, these, it's the same Cyclops stockpile I attempted last episode, so I'll do it off camera. We'll be right back. Okay, we got a couple of, we lost a fair number of hobgoblins, which I'm not happy about, but there's... We'll see if we can do this and still... Yeah, we need to be able to protect the castles. I know those red players are going to be coming. Probably I should stop. I should probably hire a garrison hero for here. Okay. Okay. Well, they haven't come out yet. Zombies run. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I want to send one force that way and one force that way. I think Zubin would be the logical one to send here. I think I'll leave Zubin here until next turn and in hopes of getting that, those last few Ogre Magi. I know Gernison could have given Tarnum some of those hobgoblins, but he should be able to pick up plenty from one of the castles. Ah, uh, let's see. Tell you what, let's let's let Tarek have most most of these troops. We'll just bring the extra ogre magi over to Zubin. Finally, hire some troops here. Actually, you know, it maybe would have been sensible to build <laughs> to have the Statue of Legion back here. In a safe area. Rel at least relatively so. I think I'm going to leave Krillian here for now. Because he's got more troops to recruit. Okay, we want to get... Yeah. 
And then we'll have Zubin go there. Take those last couple of Ogre Magi from they. And then head towards Krellian over here. Well, Gurnison continues to pick up resources. Okay, Dispel. We already know. And then Krellian can hire troops. And then we'll start heading him towards Zubin. Then we'll have Tarnum head this general direction and Krellian can hand the troops he's recruited to Zubin. Now, does Tarnum need any of those Ogre Magi? Actually not. So we'll have Krellian head back that way. Then Zubin I will have you go to Tarnum and replenish his troops. And actually Zubin should probably take one of the hordes of power which is on since he's got way more spell points on him than Tarnum does. Now, all we need to do is get those Cyclops upgraded to Cyclops Kings. Well, at least he's got the movement points. Okay, we're going to have to split these. Split the hose. We'll get as many upgraded as we can, and then we'll start trading resources to get the rest upgraded too. Okay. We'll start by trading some of our ore. That took care of it. And, and we just had a little more in the way of movement points. Tarnum could have given oh Tarnum and 
Zubin could have exchanged some more Cyclops Kings. Okay, then we'll have they head back here. And I think we're about ready for the next turn. Okay, it's the beginning of Hedgehog Week. I think we'd like a few more Thunderbirds and however many more Cyclops can we can get hold of for Tarnum. So we'll do that. That should be enough, at least for Tarnum's army. Okay, and... Then we'll give all these Cyclops Kings to Tarnum. And then I think Subin will go trade resources and hire some more troops for himself. And I think I'm just going to trade everything. Okay. get back over here. Gertison, let's hire the last of these. And then, Gertison, you can head back to one of the castles yourself. And they can Go to the water wheel. Maybe go hire some orcs. And then I think we'll start turning them heading up this way. And pray. We're just going to concentrate on Cyclops Kings and Thunderbirds because that's what Zubin still needs. And I think we will just go ahead and trade all our resources and hire troops like crazy. actually are about out of time here. So I think I'm going to finish hiring troops for Zubin and then we'll have Tarnum attack one horde of power liches and Zubin attack the other one and come at the remaining necromancers from both directions. So we will see you then.